We can take down a couple of buildings at once. <laughs> this is it, baby. Giant, giant robot destroys Tokyo. Hello, everybody. Gray Steel Plays, and we're back with more Brick Rigs. No time for BS. So real quick, there's a few things that I have to go over. There was a fairly big set of updates to Brick Rigs recently that added a lot of really neat things to the game. So the very first thing that we're going to notice is that there is a new wheel. Now I know we're like, oh, a new wheel, so what? But the new wheel is pretty cool. The new wheel is an off-road 5x2 wheel, so it is a big-ass wheel. So that means that we're going to possibly see, like, like, monster trucks and stuff like that, which I'm really hoping for because until... Well, for a while now, we've had, like, much smaller wheels comparatively. Like, if you see this, this right here is, like, your normal 2x2 wheel. Look at how much bigger the 5x2 wheel is. It's freaking awesome. Quite impressive. Now, beyond that, there's a couple of other things that we have. Let me go ahead and get out of this real quick. And one of the other things that was added was brick material strength. So, that is crazy. Check this out. So, you have a, bl uh, you have a brick, obviously, and you make your brick. And then when you go to brick material... You've got, like, okay, a whole bunch of different colors and stuff that you can do. But down here is special. And all of these different brick types have different strengths and weights that they have. For instance, like, the tungsten one, they, uh, the creator said, is one that's incredibly strong, but also very heavy. Gold is obviously super heavy. Uh, and then he mentioned, like, carbon is much lighter, but it's also more fragile. So that's pretty cool. So tungsten is the, like, strongest material that we have right now so i'd be very interested to see like people making plows and like you know like battering rams and stuff like that out of tungsten and putting it up against like rusted steel or like carbon uh carbon vehicles and stuff like that just to see how much damage the tungsten could take compared to carbon so with that out of the way like i said there's another actuator that's in the game which is pretty cool there was a couple of sound effects that were added to the the jets and there have you and on top of that, what I want to do is do a real quick look at some of the new things that people have added to the workshop. I'm gonna, I've got to start off with this. And this is a tough act to follow. So right here, Veradeth is added again, the man, the myth, the legend. I know I use a lot of his stuff in my videos, but he has some of just the craziest creativity of anyone I know he just he continuously adds just crazy shit so let's take a look at this real quick this is called the preserver mark one it's 697 bricks this would not have been possible if the creator didn't get rid of the brick limitation i gotta tell you the creator this game was very very rough when it started and the creator is doing a lot to make this game better i really really think that's freaking awesome um but this is a legitimate robot. It has it has the ability to kind of like hydraulic the arms. It has the ability to like move the upper body. It has the ability to kind of like uh, make the, the, I don't know what to call it. I guess I'll call it legs or just lower appendages go up and down. It's got like a giant ass cannon on its shoulder. It's, it's hilarious. Um... And then it has, uh, or that cannon on its shoulder, and then it has like a, I don't know, like a machine gun for an arm. Now the one thing about this, show you right now, is when we load, when we load this, it is going to immediately jettison into the stratosphere. So you have to go ahead and repair the vehicle, or you can respawn it, and that'll kind of take care of things. I'm gonna go ahead and repair it right here. All right, how about this? There we go. Okay, now it's fine. So here we have our little buddy. Now, right off the bat, you know, he can move a little bit. I don't know, I don't really know, like, what kind of, um, I don't know, what kind of power, what kind of power source he uses. Um, but it's very silent. I don't know if this is, like, an electronic motor in the game or something like that, but you'll notice right here it's pretty silent. He can just kind of move around. So immediately he has, right there, you can see his hand. It's, this is so cool. You can see he's got like a claw there on that side and he's got his machine gun on this side over here that he can go ahead and do some shooting with. Now if we hit the actuator button, that's the alt button. Look at this craziness. Look at this. 
all his claws and his arms and stuff like that move. But watch this. His legs and stuff go up too on top of all this. And hold on. This is crazy. We can put on our little, our little light right there. You see the little green light that's flashing? And we can lower the freaking cannon, boys. <laughs> yes. You can lower the cannon and then start firing all crazy like I love it. Now, I'm curious if there's any, like, individual actuators. Yes, there is. So you can individually actuate, like, quite a bit of this. See how you see how you can move the hand like this a little bit? Let, hold on. Let me see if I can... Let me see if I can manipulate him a little bit. Maybe we can get this arm so that the arm is lined up with the other big-ass... That, that big-ass cannon he has on him there. All right. It's kind of a pain in the ass to get the camera moving. Or not the camera, but the cannon lined up with this with the uh, machine gun, but look at this thing. This thing's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. There's your first person view as you blow the hell out of some buildings with this thing. Very cool. And this is like our, this is like our main, uh, I don't know, I guess I'll call it like our main view right there. So look at this guy right here. We're attacking Tokyo or whatever, kind of wandering down, wandering down the freaking, uh, the roadway here. Can anything stop this giant bastard. In fact, hold on one second. Let me see if I can, hold on. Let me see if I can get this turned in here. Now, I don't know how far he can turn as well before um, before we start to lose blocks and stuff like that. Go ahead and move this like this. Oh boy, we're starting to get a little wobbly. There we go. Now we've got the cannon lined up. We can take down a couple of buildings at once. <laughs> this is it, baby. Giant giant robot destroys Tokyo. So is it is it like you know the the most perfect robot that ever was no But the fact that he went ahead and made something like this at all is pretty cool Hold on. Let me get some uh, let me go ahead and get some shots in here. Oh, yeah Oh, are is all this going down? Oh my god. We got hit by something the power rangers have swooped in and freaking took half of our leg off Look at that bullshit all the buildings are going down as well though very cool one of the other things that the creator supposedly changed is when an explosion goes off the buildings don't all fall in the same direction so we're gonna check that out in a second too but first let's load up another vehicle all right so here we are again this is another one by verdeth this one is called the grave digger with trailer now right here you can notice we've got those big beaters on the front That's what I would like to probably see made out of tungsten for instance We could probably change that out if we want to just to see kind of what the uh, what the limitations are of the the brick material strength But look at this badass thing though. Look at how cool this is. It's got the cannon on the back here You can actuate the cannon all you want kind of move it back and forth and there have you um, it has a full coupler, so if you want, you can decouplerize the trailer. Over here, we've got those forks on the front. If you notice right there, we can move those around as we wish. You can move them all independently. Um, I'm gonna get out real quick, just so we can get kind of a better look at this thing. But I mean, just the, again, him and his attention to detail is amazing. Now, not only is that gun, uh, pilotable, so that can swoop around and everything, this little area here for when you decoupler the trailer, this is like a landing gear. This goes down. Look at how crazy this is. So you could put this down so that when you remove the coupler, this doesn't fall over. Very, very cool. And then remember, like I had said, this we can't really reach it from here. But um, that, that gun over there is fully functional. So let's go ahead and get inside here. I'm going to fire real quick. There you go, right there. You can see. If we go ahead and put the actuator on, there you go. We can use this, we can use this turret on the back there. Very cool. And see, so you can move it up and down a little bit. The thing that it's, the thing that's kind of stopping it from moving up is you notice how there is a, I don't know if I can show you guys from here. Maybe I can zoom in a little bit. Right at the top level there of the, uh, of the gun, the thing kind of gets in the way of all the actuators and stuff. There is like a, um, right there. There's like a little strip right there. I think that strip is keeping it from like uh from being able to like move it a full 300 and 300 and well not 360 degrees i guess maybe like 180 degrees up in the tilt anyway the other reason that i wanted to get the grave digger with the trailer started here is because we need to give we need to give the freaking um 
the train a run for their money with this guy right here. This is a ton of bricks, by the way. This trailer and the grave digger and all that, this thing is, I don't even know how many bricks this is. I really don't know. I, I know it's well over a thousand. But let's go ahead and get on the tracks over here. We're gonna we're gonna see if we could stop this train. Now the train's gonna go by in just a second here. Oh shit, I'm right on the tracks. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> oh, we just missed it. Alright, let me get on the tracks and I'm gonna I'm we're gonna go head on. Alright, we are on the tracks. I'm following the tracks too. So what we're gonna do. Oh, here it comes. Here comes the train. Let's get going as fast as we can. I don't want to go too fast because I don't want everything to go like crazy on me here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let me zoom out a little bit for this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Here we go. Full freaking speed. Right in. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. The Grave Digger put up a valiant effort, man, especially considering this train goes i mean nothing can stop this train here oh wow oh we are just we're on fire we are just flying right now we gave it our best shot though all right so verdith at it again with a freaking blimp this was pretty funny i guess he was saying he doesn't have the best luck with flying creatures so he's really not going to do too many of them but here you go man here's a legit blimp now it just barely kind of gets off the ground and then it goes completely haywire so we gotta try and uh, we gotta try and do well for the uh, the record here that he managed to. I think he said he could only stay in the in the sky for about 15 seconds. Let me try. Let me tell you something. I've tried this thing as well, and it is a pain in the ass. But let's go ahead and give it a shot. Here we go. So you're gonna notice right here the takeoff looks good. Things are doing okay, and then things start going a little sideways. Get your uh, oh god. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're starting to lose it. Oh, we're starting to regain it. Nope. We're losing it. I was going to say, get your stopwatches on. I got things slowed down now, so it doesn't count anymore. But uh, I don't know. Maybe the impact with the ground won't be that bad. Well, all right. Or it could be pretty bad. Now we're... Wow. Oh, God. You can see the props inside, though. See that right there? That's pretty cool to see. There's, like, uh, the props. Some of them are inverted. Now, does this count? Are we still up in the air? Well, we were up in the air. Now, though, everything's just kind of... It's all coming apart now. We do get to see the interior portion of the blimp, though. That was cool. The props were still moving. So they started to chop up the inside of the blimp. Let's give it one more shot, though. Go ahead and recover here. See if we can do a little bit better here. Okay, here we go. Maybe if I, maybe if I press less... Oh, okay. So right now. Okay, now stop. Stop. Okay, now press it again. Damn it! Nope, that, oh, oh, we're still driving. Nope, we're not. All right, baby. This is it. Last time, I'm going to zoom way out for this. Oh, God. If you press the, if you press the WASD keys, you can kind of, oh, 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 hold on, hold on. I'm going to do a little landing. Yes. No. Oh, God. Oh, it's still in one piece. It's still flying, sort of. No, there it goes, right toward the camera. And it whirly gigs all over the place. And what? All right. Just blew up. That was interesting. So that's a little blip there. Kind of difficult to drive. Okay. Really difficult to drive. But still pretty cool that one was managed to be put together. All right. I had to show this off real quick. This is called the Kamikaze TIE Fighter, I think it is. And this is by DownloadMan87. There's not a lot to this. Um, basically, what this does is it like rockets well i guess i'll show you it just kind of rockets around and eventually it hits things and then whatever it hits blows up uh let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit here and you'll kind of get the idea here we go there we go and now that we have successfully kamikaze the area all of the right there oh my god all of the rockets should start kind of flying into the distance. Look at how they've detached from the main body. Oh my God, I don't even know if I can keep... It's still going. Look at how crazy it's going. Now, I don't know if they explode after they run out of fuel. See that right there? It kind of like ran out of fuel and it didn't do anything else. Let's go ahead and let's recover out of garage. Um, like if we blow up here, what will happen? Let's check it out. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go real slow. I'm gonna hop out. Here we go. And now the kamikaze is on its. Oh my god, it moves fast. Okay. 
I don't even know where it went. It went somewhere in the distance. Oh my god, everything's blowing up on it. Hold on, let me let me put us like more. Let me see here. If I can put us like more in the middle of the main city area. There we go. This looks pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and spawn this thing here and see what happens. Uh, it should be fairly ridiculous. There we go. Put this right here. Okay, now let's go ahead and get her going. Wah! All right, we've got it going. I'm gonna go ahead and jump out like this. It should just about clip that right there. And probably blow that area up. Oh, no, no, whoa! <laughs> yes. Oh, the explosions have changed. Look at how there was like a shock wave in that explosion. And if you notice, it looked like it dented the front of that building right there. Everything else just gonna kind of wander around. Oh, that's so cool. The explosions in this game are getting like better and better and better. Um, and that's awesome because I have a lot of fun with the explosion in this game. All right, so that's the little Tai Kamikaze fighter. Let's go ahead and check something else out real quick. So this right here is called the Screwocopter. <laughs> I think it's called like the Schwaber Copter, and then it was also mentioned that it translates to Screwocopter. This is by Der Ein von Velen. I'm so sorry if I am destroying your name. It's kind of a difficult name. Now, I mentioned all you have to really do here is press the, uh, the W key, and that should pretty much allow everything to happen. Let's a whoa! <laughs> Into the stratosphere we go! That is amazing. Oh, wow. I, oh, like, are we, we're out of the stratosphere. That's it, we have left the map. Let's continue onward into space. I wonder how far this game will let you go up. This thing is hilarious. Oh, wow. Look at the little block of land down there below us. <laughs> Obviously, now you guys can clearly hear the, uh, the sound effects that the game designer added to the rockets. Oh, this is interesting. We've, we have completely left the planet now. Look at this. Hold on. There it is. The circular planet is gone. There's our little parcel of land there that we've gone out of. No, I don't, is there like a way for me to, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're turning it off. What happens when you're in space? I mean, is there gravity in here? Can we fall? I don't know, I'm, I'm turning it, I'm turning it off right now. Just to see what happens. Okay, so we are, oh, oh, it's starting to go backwards. Oh, this is curious. Will we go downward? Hold on a minute. Let me see if I can get us going in reverse. Uh, no, nothing happened. The the planet continues to disappear as the screwocopter flies further and further away. If we jump, what happens if we jump? Oh, we're just we're just in the blackness of space now, and I don't know how long it'll take us to fall. The world appears to be getting bigger, but. I'm not too worried about it. Anyway, guys, those were just some of the coolest creations right now that I've found on the workshop. Some really neat stuff. If you think that there's anything additional that we need to check out, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. But I really love a lot of these things. Just a lot of the creativity and stuff is just crazy. And now that we have even bigger off-road tires, I can't wait to see those in action as well as the different material types to see how strong or weak they are against one another. Until the next time, folks. Stay foxy and much love.